Breaking news tonight, the Pope in America, a rousing welcome for the man who's been called the rock star Pope, rock star Pope, Francis begins a historic visit. the two leaders will speak to the world, then hold a one-on-one -on -one meeting with only translators in the room, all before Pope Francis addresses Congress Thursday with Biden in attendance. Even though the president and the pope are allies on issues ranging from climate change to income inequality to Cuba, even the Iran nuclear deal, the White House refuses to reveal what the two men will discuss. The White House refuses to reveal what the two men will discuss. For the faithful who'd been waiting for hours, the emergence of Pope Francis shortly before 9 a.m. was the thrill of a lifetime. Thousands, led by the President and Mrs. Obama, waited to greet him. And after the official welcoming ceremony, both leaders addressed the significance of the visit. And I believe the excitement around your visit, Holy Father, must be attributed not only to your role as Pope, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. We need to remember that we are followers of Jesus Christ. And his life, humanly speaking, ended in failure. Ended in failure. The failure of the cross. The failure of the cross. moment, Pope Francis alone, praying. He placed a rose atop the etched names of the 3,000 victims of the 9-11 attacks. His goal? Bringing people together. The pontiff chose this place to promote worldwide peace. The Pope joined hundreds of leaders of different faiths to talk about healing. Together, he led a prayer of peace for a violent world. Peace in the hearts of all men and women, and peace among the nations. He says he witnessed Pope Francis gracefully combining two contrasting passions in his effort to bring all religions together. To bring all religions together. The words may sound different, but the Pope gathered them into one voice for peace. Papa Francesco, on behalf of this very distinguished group, representatives of the Hindu, Buddhist, Jain, Sikh, Native American, Jewish, Islamic, and Christian communities of New York City, our civic and public officials, and the board of the September 11th Memorial Foundation, I renew to you our welcome and our joy at your visit. Welcome, Holy Father. <laughs> we
we representatives of the world religions in this great city of New York gather to offer words of comfort and Intolerance prayer. and ignorance fueled those who attacked this place. The courage of today's gathering distinguishes us from the opponents of religious freedom as we stand together. Namo buddhaya jayang verang pasavati dukkhang seti parang Homage to the Buddha. Victory begets enmity. Not the coat that we wear. That truth is above everything, and the highest deed is truthful living. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the There came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Uh, it's awesome to have you around. I'm glad you're addicted to fighting tyranny. Great job. 30 seconds left. Anything else? Yes, I would like to just end with this note. As far as all the things that have happened while the Pope has been visiting here, the thing that bothered me the most is when he said Christ failed on the cross. And I did a report earlier in the day. People can go and look at why I reference certain scriptures. But Christ didn't fail on the cross. He knew he was going to die on the cross. And he said, I'm giving myself willingly. So I was very disturbed to hear something like that. He come said out that? I didn't know that. That was Christ's oh, yeah. ultimate triumph. Yeah. And he said he failed on the cross. As an ABC News, I'm sure it's a multiple. Sounds other like news some the devil well. would say, Jakari. Thank you.